What's up, you beautiful bitches? You know who it is. It's your boy, Frank Jav C. And today we're gonna be making something real special for y'all. We're gonna be making some potatoes. Also, you guys need to check out my other collab with um, Andrew Huang. I've been watching his videos since I was in high school and it was such a huge honor that we would make a video together. So watch it right here. Did anyone order extra pepperoni with extra sauce? Cause it's about to get cheesy in here. So first what you're gonna wanna do is get yourself some uh, Lunchable pepperoni and then get yourself a big uh, bag of mozzarella cheese cause that's what you put on the pizza. And then you get some prego pizza sauce cause it ain't good -o if it ain't prego, you know what I'm saying? And now you put on some uh, potatoes cause um, fuck pizza dough. First you're gonna wanna get baked. So we're gonna set our oven to 400. So we're gonna set our oven to 400 and 420 degrees. Just kidding, 400 degrees because that's um, it's more rounded, I guess. Next, using some lubricant vegetable oil, you're gonna wanna preheat your pan of, uh, of oil because we're gonna be putting some potato skins in there and make our potatoes nice and oily. So we found this at a, at a Goodwill store, secondhand shop, it's from the 90s. It's called the original V-Slicer. As you can see, it was seen on TV by this guy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice our french fries with it. Don't touch that, cause you will die. So first what you're gonna wanna do to put it on your 90s fucking chopped death trap is you're gonna wanna cut your potato in half, like so. And then after you have a cut in half, what the fuck is this? Is this bad? Like there's like fucking, like it's like a dark hole. Like it's like the fucking center of this potato is fucking evil. Like. Should we still make fries out of this? Um, what do you guys think? Leave a comment and we'll fucking read it and we'll do it whatever you say with this fucking potato. A lot of people just want me to fuck this potato, Marion. I can't it. believe them. Well, since you guys asked for it, first you gotta make a hole in this fucking black ass butthole looking ass. Look at this. Doesn't that look like my butthole? I do not have daddy issues. Oh yeah, would you look at these fries? They're so perfectly cut. I can't even tell that they were made by myself. Next, put them in the thing with holes because they're all covered with fucking dirt and nasty ass starch and you gotta wash that shit out. To do that, just put water on it and fucking... Next, you gotta dry your potatoes because if anything uh, I learned from the internet, when you put water and oil on each other, they just explode. So what we need to do is get all our, our freshly washed potatoes uh, dry. So just, you know, dry them with ease. And whisper sweet little things to your potatoes like, yeah, potatoes, you guys are great. I love you. You're, you're the best potatoes. And, and your food comes out better. It's true. Next, put your fries in the fryer like so. Next, after your potatoes turn a golden brown, just like my skin complexion, you put them in the thing right here so that they can like dry off because we're gonna cook them twice. I just like deep frying my uh, my potatoes because I, I I really don't like my um, my arteries. Like just you know like just fuck the cardiovascular system. So now that we have our potatoes done, you put them in a thing and dry them because you don't want no greasy potatoes. And next, we're gonna season them with a little bit of garlic salt a little bit of some black pepper, and some oregano leaves. If you want to make a lot of money really fast, you get oregano, fill it up in little baggies, and Okay, so next what you gotta do is you gotta add the prego. Um, next you gotta get your fries extra sauce by putting a little prego on them and get them nice and prego. 
with, with sauce. Next, you layer your pepperonis on top of one another, following the Fibonacci sequence. But Frank, it's the Fibonacci sequence. Hey, guess what? I don't even care. I love reading all your comments. Especially the ones that say, like, hey, you're getting fat, and you should kill yourself, and you're not funny, and, and all these other things that, that just warm my heart with, um, with appreciation. Just kidding. Like, I actually really do like your comments. Like, a lot of them are always like, oh, I love you, and I'm like, I love you too. And this is how I give back to you, by making food in front of you guys. That I hope that maybe you go like, hey, maybe I can make this too. And then you make it, and then you film it or take pictures of it. And then you're like, thanks, Frank. You, you, you taught me a valuable lesson on, uh, on how to just fucking throw a bunch of shit together. And next, you put your concoction in the oven for 15 minutes. Fifteen minutes. Start. <laughs> You're supposed to say stop. So now that it has been approximately fifteen minutes, you take out your uh, your concoction. Oh, it's burning my hand. And it, it looks just like this. Thank you so much for watching me in this pizza fries tutorial. Like I said earlier in the video, uh, check out my collab with Andrew Huang where you make carne asada fries. So I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, tutorial and enjoy watching this video. Uh, send me some suggestions of what food you want me to make next. And, uh, like, I, like I usually say at, my, at the end of my videos, aesthetic.